To move your objects around or, or change the size or rotation of your objects you use this edit window. Firstly you'll notice that down the left hand side the items have been added in groups. Each time you do a lasso it'll add a new lasso group or draw line. Single objects are added to the default group which is always there and can't be deleted. Um, if you were to add a new drawing of trees you'll notice that's been updated there. If I wanted to hide everything else control A to select all or edit select all here and um, then press the delete key that'll be removed and the group also gets removed. Um, you can show which ones hold control down or shift down if you want to select all three um, <coughs> to toggle which ones are shown and which ones are not. Um, once you select the, the ones that you do want to work on you can then move them about simply by clicking and dragging. The um, grab point of your object is always done depending on its mesh. And you can see here the, the mesh. If I click off to the side of that it's not going to grab. If I click on that mesh, not on the actual texture but anywhere on that mesh, it'll be moved. Um, to rotate objects, um, let's rotate the house because it's more obvious. Uh, we use the, the donut shape here which brings up three rings. If you look at those um, you can see the, the different axes of the object. So you can rotate the object that way back and forth with a green ring round and round which is probably going to be the one you use more often. If you want to select multiple items you can do so while you're in any of these three modes. Um, either by holding shift down or by lassoing um, the objects that you want. Then you can um, use the same axes to move them. And if we switch right into the scale um, object tool, then you've got three different axes that you can scale. So you can move those and change them later on. Um, you can just select one tree, just do the one tree, or you can select absolutely everything and scale everything. Um, moving trees about can be done while you've got everything selected, or just select a bunch of trees and move them about. Um, <coughs> if I hide unselected again, let me just look at this. I can split this off into its own group and move them around. Split this off into its own group. And if we just click on that, you can see those groups are now split out. Um, the other item that we can see here is um, if we look at this tree line that I've drawn roughly alongside of the road. Um, if I wanted to align that to the track, all I do is make sure that's selected, um, select all, so that we're using all trees, and then align to the road. Um, if you didn't want to select all of them, if you just want half of them, say, to be aligned, you just move them, select them separately, and then move them across. So it's important just to remember that you select the object first whilst in one of these three modes then switch to your line to track and click on the track and move it from side to side. Um, you'll notice here a, another option um, rotate to face track. Um, if you had a line of objects which you wanted rotated towards the track and I'll just do a quick one here separate by 30 meters select the lead uh, shed here, so it's the only object um, the little line of sheds switch to our edit mode and align those to the track you see that they're all facing the same direction regardless of their uh, shape of the track at that point in time um, we can click 
rotate to face track so the, um, the the objects are now rotated around the yaw axis so that the edge is always against the track and you could additionally add say 90 degrees to it so that the other edge is always at it so you'll be able to do things like um, at lamp posts or um, perhaps any any sort of sign posts that you want and have them rotated so it's always um, in the same plane as the the tracks running and um, then you can see a, a number of different options here um, I'll explain those more in the the manual but um, that allows you to well the the most important one is rest them on the ground the objects can be rested on the ground or if you switch that off and hold the Y key when when moving it around you can move them up and down um, you notice that I've rested I've moved that house the shed way up in the air so now when I move it about without it being rested on the ground it'll actually go underground because it's um, just being moved in the horizontal plane you press Y it's being moved up and down you can do similar sorts of things with your trees um, or, or any object really but I'll pick a tree as an example that's resting on the ground at the moment if we uncheck that that'll move underground as well we move it back to checked it pops back up but um, and any movement we do is still resting on the ground but in addition to that you can push the object underground um, so that it stays underground and that's done by holding the Y key down as well um, so that you can create different objects or sink them in a bit more while they still r theoretically rest on the ground um, most of these other options are for R-Factor um, I'll explain those more in the manuals